Hey everybody, this is Nikki and I'm here to do a quick video that is personal experience, personal theory, personal whatever, no medical advice whatsoever. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to do this quick. I have three types of glucagon in my home today. Um, and up until recently, the only kind I've ever had has been the Lily Emer Glucagon Emergency Kit. Um, this is the one I've kept for years and years. And I do have a number of them on my shelf, let's say six of them or something like that. Um, because from my understanding, they do not expire. So it's really no harm in just keeping them there. Um, and I do like to experiment with them from time to time and kind of split up the powder and um, do mini shots and everything else. Um, so that one's kind of fun. Um, however, this one is not my favorite one for my family to use in the case of an emergency. Um, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, so I have the Lily. I also have the Gvoke. Um, I got this one probably about two months ago, three months ago maybe. Um, this is also an injection. It's a subcutaneous injection. Um, the big difference between the Gvoke and the Lily is that this one is shelf stable and it's pre-mixed. Um, so as far as my injectables... This one sounds easier for my family to go. I mean, it's a matter of popping the cap off um, and injecting just the way you would a regular subcutaneous shot. So that's kind of that's kind of neat. Um, and as I said, it's shelf stable. So that's um, so that's got great potential for a lot of things for diabetics. But in this case, it just means that nobody has to worry about mixing something, you know, in the middle of in, in the middle of a true emergency. Um, then recently, maybe a month ago, three weeks ago, something like that. Um, I got my hands on some Baxini, um, and by luck, the day it was coming in the mail for me, the school nurse um, stopped me when I went through to, to volunteer, and um, she mentioned the fact that, she asked me if I had heard of it, and I said, yeah, I said, I'm actually getting some in the mail today, and she said, well, I just um, had somebody give me the patient caregiver demonstrator, so why don't you take a look at it, um, and that was cool. I had got, I was getting it through the mail, but I didn't know anything about it other than it's an inhalable, it's a, um, a nasal glucagon. Um, so I was thrilled to get, and I'll reset it because I've been playing, <laughs> but uh, I was thrilled to get that, um, and, I, and I'll show you guys that in one second. Okay. So basically, if it comes down to which one would I rather have my family using in case of emergency, um, I will tell you why the vaccine me is by, you know, hands down the winner. Um, so this is the Lily Glucagon Emergency Kit. This one has been around for a very long time. And I think as far as it being reliable, I think it probably is really reliable. However, um, there's a lot of diabetics out there who have one of these somewhere, but their family wouldn't have any idea how to do it. And it looks... It looks intimidating, even though it really isn't. Um, it looks intimidating. They haven't learned it before the case. And then if there's an emergency, you know, it's it's uh, it's a scary thing to be trying to mix liquids, you know. Um, so even though it's not really all that, um, even though it's not really all that overwhelming of a process, it does require removing the cap here, um, injecting the liquid into the vial, shaking up the vial, and then pulling the liquid back up into um, the syringe and then injecting the, you know, the diabetic or whatever. So um, it's not, I mean, for diabetics, it's like we do these things all day, every day. But in the case of an emergency, I think this is a little bit intimidating for people who, who aren't used to injections and aren't used to mixing things. Um, then again, it's been around, it's, it's a rock solid glucagon. Um, so, and it's one that I think is probably still most available. Um, the Gvoke, I think, is the next one. I think the Gvoke is probably my second one that I'd prefer my family to do. Um, and this one is because it's just fairly easy. It's just a shot. Um, really, though, nobody in my family gives me shots. So to me, it doesn't feel like it should be a big deal, but it might still be a bigger deal to them. Um, however, the instructions are to open the pouch, um, you know, choose an injection site and expose the skin, pull off the needle cap, don't worry about the air bubbles. Um, pinch the skin, insert the needles, and push down to inject. Um, so it's fairly simple stuff. And if you have somebody in your family who is used to injections, I think that is, that's, a, that's an easy one even in the middle of an emergency. Um, the Baximi, I think, is probably the one that I would prefer my family to be trying to give me <laughs> in the case of an emergency. 
my children are even excited and they're hoping, <laughs> which is not okay, um, you know, to, to get their turn to do this. Um, so I'll show you with this one and the instructions are, you know, on the package too. Um, this one is as easy as can be. You pop the cap, um, you pull out the nasal shooter, <laughs> um, and they said you're gonna insert the tip up into the finger. So basically it's just gonna go up until your fingers hit. Um, and then you just, and that's it. Um, that's your shot. You cannot in any way um, avoid getting the entire you know, amount. So it might be overkill in some instances. Um, and I've never actually done a real glucagon shot. So I've heard that you can get nauseous. Like I've heard some stuff about it. But in reality, I would rather um, you know, deal with nausea and whatever that is than to deal with death. <laughs> You know, or whatever happens when my family can't figure out how to pre-mix my, mix my stuff. Um, so, that's it. That's my glucagon discussion. And that's my Bexy Me demonstration. Um, and I'm out of here. Thanks. Hope you have a great day. Bye.